So I've got a question here um, on YouTube on one of the videos I did. Thanks a lot for those wonderful tutorials. Would you be uh, maybe up for making another one about how to make a site responsive with media queries? That would be awesome because this is at least my tryout experience. Very difficult and frustrating. Thanks a lot. Um, simple answer is no, I, I, I wouldn't like to make a, a full site with with responsive media queries but that doesn't mean that's not a good question um anyway so just go to bootstrap studio um and i've got this book this here uh, i don't know if do, 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 do. okay i don't know if you can actually see that there and it's called get up and running in no time with cs css css3 it's not just a book about CSS3, it also is a book about HTML5. Um, the reason that I've got the cam, uh, the webcam thing on is just to show a few things. This is this book is about that. And I love the history of all these things. Um, and I was wondering with this question, because I thought it was a really good question, about media queries themselves. And I thought, that seems years ago that that question would be answered, um, you know, asked. But it's still a very good question because sometimes you, you, even when we're doing responsive grids and stuff like that, we still, you know, may, maybe people are still wanting a particular device. Anyway, in this, this book, I found going off the subject of CSS3 and media queries anyway, this is this is something I, I agree with. So remember, this is from 2011. And it's on page, oh, I'm not used to using these things, 24. And it's on about like, should we call this XHTML5 um, or HTML5? And it says the choice is yours, basically. Um, on my website, DHTML5, uh, DHTML Rocks, I state that I believe that the, the name actually should be DHTML5. And the reason being is that it's basically new wine in old bottles. Anyway, going back to the, the question of... Um, Mr. Snyder, I think it was, um, about media queries. And there's quite a lot of them in here. Uh, wrong way around. Okay. And it says, new in CSS3, querying the media. Um, and back then, everything was done with media queries. So I don't really want to go back then, six years ago, because we've got Bootstrap, Foundation, Skeleton, and a whole host of other things. But what I would would do is that there's like I said there's a few things that you might still need media queries for um, and in the future will I don't know if they would ever die fully but it's still a, a, a really good uh, question anyway in bootstrap studio if we go to the settings okay and then we go into the head content right we can put stuff in the head content. how to do this anyway so we've got the style so the, what this is, it automatically in Bootstrap Studio goes to um, the head. The head content will do your uh, your code for you, really, um, if you understand that. Okay, style. Right. Okay. So, um, for example, we're going to put a, a body, just your normal CSS. All right. So background color. And we're going to put this as uh, F90, which is a great color. F90, all right. Okay, so media queries. These can be a bit of a pain at times, actually. But anyway, media, all right. Okay, so this is the rule, screen, and, and this is the query, all right. So maximum width, max width. We spell, uh, uh, we see a 500 pixels. Okay, right. And so after that, you need a, your curly brackets and yeah, right. Again, body, curly brackets. And in between that, we're gonna do background color. All right. Uh, we're going to call this uh, just 
red should we? Uh, red. All right. Okay. So that should work. So we say I will go with that. Okay. Save. Preview. Open in browser. All right. There's your red. And there's your white. Where's orange at? Wasn't to put that in right, but you get the idea. Um. Okay. Didn't put it in right. That's why it doesn't work. Just put that uh, hashtag in there. Okay, so you, you can do a lot of these things. Here's the orange, and when it gets down to 500 pixels, um, then it starts to become red. And I mean, you can put a load of them things in. Obviously, you can put whatever you want, you can change the font size, the font family at certain pixels or whatever. I would, I would say, learn how to do these things, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be building. Uh, websites or res responsive stuff in media queries I, I don't really think you know it's one of them things that you need to worry too much about there's so many frames frameworks out there and the mainly sort of you know it's always good our skills it definitely is um, but just you know I, I'll I would say well if you've got time learn them if not it doesn't really matter we've got plenty of other things okay so again, thanks for all the comments and thanks for supporting on this channel. So um, catch you later.